Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Reinhardt, CEO, CTO, and founder of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. This is your weekly update. This is the first fresh weekly update of calendar year 2026. And what a year we hope it will be, and we are working for it to be. I want to lead off by saying that, hey, I think it was last week we shared the internal video that I recorded for the team, which I normally would have done live as a town hall type format, but I recorded it because I wanted to share it with you. And overwhelmingly, I got feedback that everybody really loved kind of seeing that insight of how we prioritize things internally and getting a little bit of a glimpse behind the curtain as to seeing how, you know, I work with our team members and what our focus is. So you got all of that last week. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. It seems to have been very well received with lots of views. There were some people that were like, well, why weren't shareholders mentioned? Well, shareholders weren't mentioned for a very good reason. Most of our team members are focused on their job and what's most important to them is their jobs, their mission, what's happening, their teammates, what are our priorities. That's why I talked about those things with them. When we're talking, I talk about other things like the public side of the company and sales and revenues and fundamentals and things that are fundamentally supposed to drive positive shareholder value. So different audiences, different topics, different things to discuss. It's a complex thing, a company, and we were aligned properly for that. So for everybody that reached out, either with the, why are you sharing this with us? And why didn't you mention shareholders? And everyone else are like, that was really cool, Steve. Thank you for sharing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your feedback. You are as up to date with AITX as I think anybody could possibly be. Let's get into this week's content. Busy month. And the first piece that I want to bring your attention to is January the 15th, which is next week, depending on when you're watching this. But January the 15th, we are going to release the queue. And in that, we're going to obviously have a subset where I pull out some of the highlights, some of the fundamentals that are presumably growing the right way. I can't comment on anything until the queue comes out. I have not seen the final queue yet. I'll see it tomorrow. I'll review it, maybe add some text to the business description side of things. So on the 15th, you are going to get the queue filed. You're going to get an interview, video interview of me and uh, Stuart, who has interviewed me before. We're going to talk about some of the things that are in the queue that had just been released. We're also going to talk about some things that are important to different shareholders, like the big topic, which happens, which is dilution. You know, let's talk a little bit about share price. So we're going to talk about that next week on the 15th in an interview going to be released. So mark your calendars. You're going to want to hear how the queue went and you're going to want to hear how we talk about our financial position. Mark that down. Now this week I am in Las Vegas at CES, which is a big consumer electronics show. It has 150,000 people a year. And I promise you, I don't really want to be here. I don't really like coming to this show. I haven't come to the show for 15 years or so. I'm in and out on it, doing one overnight here in Vegas. And I'm here with our industrial designer, Artur. And Artur convinced me to come. Number one, I want to spend some time with him because we have to start talking about what Gen 5 looks like. That's number one. And we decided to do it here because he is a professional designer. He worked for companies that have designed Ferraris and all kinds of stuff, done some work for Apple. And he's amazing. I love spending time with him. But we have to start seeing, hey, what else is happening in consumer and industrial design that we might want to be aware of or get a handle on in order to architect Gen 5. Now, remember, Gen 5 is going to take 18 months, plus or minus, but we want to make improvements on it. We're already making improvements on the electronics. And the goal is make it less expensive so that we could expand our market. That is the goal of Gen 5. There's some other things, too, that I'll release and leak to some extent over the coming year, year and a half. So we're here to work on that together to see if there's anything particularly new from a design concept or materials concept that is interesting that we want to incorporate into our Gen 5. And I'll give you the answer. Not really. Not really. We're seeing a lot of, I wouldn't even say it's necessarily new design, but it just doesn't seem to have a focus on hardware design at this CES. Um, and it's kind of disappointing. So that's where it is. But Artur and I are working hard on this. 
very early morning in order to come in here early. Quick trip, thankfully be back home tomorrow. And we did like 17,000 steps today, which isn't a whole lot overall, but if you're wearing the right shoes, it's okay. One of us were wearing the right shoes, one of us weren't. I was this guy, so it is what it is. But I'll tell you what I saw because I want I took a couple notes just to share with you. Hey, my impressions of uh, of CES. Now, did I see anything that was really new or cool? Now, to me, it, there was nothing really that blew my socks off. Now, keep in mind that I'm kind of, you know, pay attention to what's new. I pay attention to these things. So I saw a lot of exoskeletons. I expect that exoskeletons are going to be, you know, in regular commercial use in the next couple of years, judging by what I saw. I saw a lot of health, a lot of digital health, a lot of scales, a lot of wearables, basically every scale and every wearable that you'd ever see seems to be here. I saw a lot of exercise equipment, nothing particularly new. The mowers, the, the robotic mowers are definitely coming mainstream and the pool cleaners are definitely becoming mainstream. So I saw those, I saw a bunch of batteries and I saw robots. And Doug right now is gonna roll some robots that we saw. And listen, you know, we were gonna be working on Hero and we were gonna be working on Rad Dog and we had to tighten up our labor in order to focus on what's important and reduce the amount of money that we need to fund in terms of our cash flow gaps. So we did, and those projects have been put aside. Um, but those projects with other people are still rolling away. So it was interesting to see them and I hope you liked those videos we put up. Everybody, that is it for me. I've got to get back to work. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Comment, like, reminder on January 15th, and we'll see you around.